Kareem, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the great Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Kareem, you know, Rob, in addition to just being a fantastic player, arguably, a lot of the old heads, Rob, would say he's the GOAT. Right. I've got well, him if third you look at his, behind If you look LeBron at his entire career as a basketball player, Power Memorial High School in New York, what he did in college, you know what I mean? Like, like his, his overall basketball resume is second to none. I agree. Like, you right? would have to say, I mean, I guess obviously you could argue Bill Russell with the 11 rings, but Bill Russell didn't do the things individually that – Kareem did as far as scoring and stuff like that. But Rob, you're right. Power Memorial High School in New York. Yep. At the UCLA. How I many he won three titles there, I believe? Yep. Didn't play. His right. he didn't freshman play his year freshman he couldn't year. play because there right. were rules. The freshman couldn't play. And, and you know this story. The varsity team for UCLA won the national championship that year. But the freshman team with Kareem, which couldn't play. You know, in the official game, beat, right. beat the varsity, yep. which was the national championship team in scrimmages. And so, and then, of course, he won six championships in the NBA. He's the all time leading scorer. I think he's third, but he's up there in rebounds. Uh, he's won six MVPs, which is the most ever. I mean, he accomplished, you often say it about Tom Brady, right? Most accomplished quarterback. Kareem. I, Without I don't know question, who's more, more accomplished. Without yet question, as a basketball, player. I don't know and anything Rob, about Michael Jordan's high school career. Right, he almost did. He got well, cut from the well, team at one close point. To Kareem, yeah. right? And then well, in college, close. Michael won a championship with North Carolina, as a freshman, right? and had a big and he shot. He wasn't the star of that team. No. I mean, he had the they big had James shot. James Worthy, right. right? Sam Perkins, absolutely. Right. And then the years he was the best player in the country, they didn't win the championship. Right. And so, uh, yeah. But anyway. That's why, as a quick aside, Rob, remember it was a joke. Remember a few years, might have been during the pandemic, but it was within the last couple of years, they did, I think it was ESPN did a poll, like the best college players ever. Right. And I think Michael Jordan won it. And they, look, we both think he's the GOAT. He ain't the greatest college but, basketball yeah, player. No Stop way. it. He, he would be, you'd say he's the greatest college player. So, yeah, it was crazy. But anyway... Kareem, Rob, who's gone on to have a great literary career, written more than a dozen books, writes a ton uh, of his books, if not all of them, about black history. Uh, he writes columns in various magazines. Oh, yeah. and, and I've websites. read a number of his columns. He, he's well thought out, Chris. He's he a, is. A, a, a thoughtful writer. Yeah. Like, like yep. really puts in his. Uh, uh, he's a smart man. Uh, but he wrote a column for Substack, and he talked about LeBron. And uh, I, I didn't hear Rob G in my ear. What'd you say? Oh, it's a video. I'm sorry. And here's what he said about LeBron in his celebrating. We do have sound. Okay, so here, here he goes about LeBron's celebration. Last week, LeBron was fined $15,000 for doing a big ball stance after the Lakers <laughs> win over the Pistons. The NBA has been fining players between $15,000 and $25,000 for doing this dance since the 2010-2011 season. For me, winning is enough. Why do you need to do a stupid childish dance and disrespect the other team on the court? It doesn't make sense. Goats don't dance. <laughs> the way he said that, goats don't dance. Go ahead. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I that understand That was cr- what trash Kareem. talk from Kareem. That was. Right? Yo, that was trash very talk good. Trash talk on Tuesday, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, and he did bring it up, Chris, the dance. So it was a part of it. Right. it wasn't just he was talking about the it big wasn't balls. just the right. dance. It was about that. That you know, like what what are you doing? You're above that. You're like one of the all time greats, and you're walking around, and it's obscene. Let's just be honest. I mean, Chris, you want to do that in your Sam backyard? Sam Cassell used to get away with it for some reason, but you're right. A lot, you used is, to get away with a lot of stuff you don't in the want NBA. Kids to see that, right? Right. right. But but right. you got kids there. Uh, you want your nine year old to go, Daddy? What was he? What was LeBron doing? I want to do that. What was that? Does right, he have? Is right. that Jock itch? What was he? What was he doing? What was that? I mean, so I get what Kareem. It just it's unbecoming. LeBron is better than that. 
He doesn't right. have to do it, and I get where it ain't the end of the world. Kareem didn't say it was the end of the world, right? And he laughed, chuckled, kind of. Goats don't do that, you know what I mean? It wasn't <laughs> goats like don't dare. Goats don't. Well, dance. It, it, it was, out, and, and Rob, beyond that, it was out of character for LeBron. Yeah, because LeBron that was when he made that shot against what you call it? Sacramento, right? And that when he made Indiana, that shot? Indiana, it was Indiana. Oh yeah, when they came back, yeah, the Indiana. Game. Game. You're right. You're right. But he's always made it a point wisely to stay above all that stuff. I remember, Rod, when I was at ESPN the magazine, and you you know, you remember when they started the body issue. Yes. Right? And they I was there when they started the body issue. And they of course wanted LeBron in it. And he was like, no way. Like he was like, no, nah, not at all. And not that the body issue, I mean they try to do it tastefully and, and all that. But my point is, Rob, he was a you know, he was like, I'm not doing anything that messes with my image. He he does, you know, he he has an image, Rob, and he promotes it as a well, family man. Well, right? a family I mean, he, man, he, a he husband, puts his kids, wife and right. his kids out. He looks like a great father, and he does put them out there. And, you know, like this is a part of my image and who I am. And I even think back to Rob, and I don't know if you remember this, obviously before Bill Cosby had all of his problems. But he, uh, LeBron, it was a tweet or Instagram. I think it was an Instagram post. But remember, he said that he thanked Bill Cosby for the example that he set with the Cosby show. Because LeBron was like, I'd never, I wasn't really seeing that on a regular basis. No, not and a fact. to see a black family, a lawyer, a doctor, those were, you know, to marry to each other. Don't, don't, don't forget, great kids. people forget this, Chris, that that, that show Five was rejected by ABC and CBS first. I didn't even know that. Yeah, they they both rejected the well, they show. They didn't think a black family they would didn't, be like exactly that or with a doctor and a lawyer. You know what I mean? Wow. Like that whole thing, right? Because it was in the eighties. Yeah. yeah, NBC was the third choice. They it was that show wow. was rejected by the other two that. networks. I, I've read that. Wow. So, um, but yeah. So and LeBron, Rob, and and I say to his credit, has you know in some ways picked up that man. I mean, he does like. You know, Rob, you see this. Some guys, you never see their wives. <laughs> you know, they keep their wives hidden. Uh, LeBron doesn't do that, and um, and I credit him for that. But I, I'm with Kareem. I mean, look, I thought if Kareem's talking about, like, oh, you don't dance, and I think nah, he, he I clearly think just so, meant right. the big balls thing. I, I would disagree with that. Goats can dance. Goats, because he's, he's basically saying there's a lot of goats, you know, greatest of all time. I would say Steph Curry's a goat, greatest shooter of all time. He shimmies. You know, and so I, I would say goats do do things like that. But LeBron, you know, his little, what do they call that dance? Rob G, I know you know the name of it, that he does. That one was fine. The, the silencer, right? Where he kind of stomping and stuff like that, hitting his chest. That's fine. But, it, you, you know, he went above, uh, past the line. Yeah, with, with, LeBron you know, is better than that. that LeBron, stuff, LeBron right. is better than that. He has an image. He had the, the Space Jams, even though it was a flop. You know, kids movie. Was it, though? Rob, I, Rob I mean, G. I, I'm, I'm a, a grown flop? man. I didn't go see Space Jam. Was it a flop? Rob G. Was it a flop? Yes. I don't think it was a flop. I don't think so. What yeah, are you talking about? It, you don't think so. Why Why you say flop? It I don't didn't think do it was a well. Flop. I'm, look, I'm, think, look, I'm Googling it right now. Check. Space Jam 2, a flop. Well, it came out in the middle of a pandemic when it was on a streaming service for most of the time before. It was in right, theaters. right. So, no movies I gotta, were going to do that I do well. want to watch it. Did you see it, Rob G? I did. There was it, it good? Is. It's a kid's movie. I mean, it's... I it know, but for, you know, for a kid's it was, movie... Was it was it? not the best kid's movie I've seen, but I, I, you know... Did you see the original Space Jam? Yeah, yeah. Well, I was How a kid when I saw that? that one, so I obviously I liked that one better. So... Right, right. You know, but, but you know it said here it is. I'm, I just googled it. Why Space Jam 2's box office is is so disappointing? And then the other headline is Space Jam had seventy percent drop in ticket sales. That's usually a sign, Chris. Like when it opens up and people are anticipating. Oh, you, so and what? Then, from the first week yeah, to the second week? Yeah, and then they tell yeah, then they tell their friend, don't go see. Well, it. no I one mean, was that, going to the movies during that time, Rob. That's why HBO Max had to, had to pay to have it on their right. platform. I'm gonna say this. Because I heard, Rob, I heard the same things about Uncle Drew, Kyrie Irving's movie. And I didn't go see it in the theaters. And I happened to be watching one night, flicking channels, and it was on. So I, I didn't see, sit down and see the whole thing, but I caught enough of it. And it was good. I mean, for what I didn't expect. 
you probably you know, saw five gladiator. minutes. Gladiator. Right? <laughs> no, no, no. I saw like, you know, a good a good enough to where I got the gist of it. And honestly, I want to watch the whole thing when I get a chance. It was good. I mean, for what it was. And I bet you Space Jam 2 was the same way. I bet you it was. It, it the, the story I'm reading, you just said that the opening, Rob G., which we're talking about people not going, enjoyed a decent opening week with 30 mil, 31 million at the box office. So you're saying nobody's going to the theater, but they had 31 million at the box office. But the second week was brutal, and the film suffered an almost 70% drop in ticket sales. And, and that, I, I think, Rob, if I remember correctly, there was a surge in between the first and second week. Okay. <laughs> You're trying to paint it a nice picture. Just, I said it's a flop. All right.